Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Original Thursday, where we get creative every single Thursday here on this channel. Today we are going to paint two different sunsets since some of you guys requested a video about how to paint a sunset. I will show you my way of painting it so you can get an idea and then you can just play around with it and develop your own way and your own technique how to do that. What I usually do is when it comes to painting sunsets or sceneries with a background, I start off with distributing some water with a flat brush all over the area I want to paint later. This way we can use the wet on wet technique where I will use wet paint on wet surface. This will help the paint to nicely blend together. So for the first sunset I will be using just a light layer of blue for the sky because the sky was pretty pastel looking. Remember when you apply watercolors, the paint will dry a lot lighter so I would always try to go for a darker shade. But of course you can always layer watercolors so you can just experiment. I'm using a picture I took myself when I was in Thailand, but you can of course google any sunset you like and just use that as a reference. Here I'm just applying the paint from the top to the bottom and create this gradient effect from dark to light. And while the paint is still wet, you can take a tissue paper and lightly dab it over the paper to soak up some of the paint. This way you create these pretty loose clouds without any harsh lines. And this will look really natural once it's dry. Now while the first background is drying, we can move on to the second example. Here the sunset was a lot darker and had totally different colors. That's why I wanted to show you guys two different examples so you can see my process. But the steps are similar. You want to start with applying water to the paper and then you can distribute the paint. I really like using flat brushes for the background because it makes such a huge difference and you can create such flat lace of paint that is hard to achieve with a run brush. Again, you can remove some of the paint using a tissue paper and then just let the watercolor do its magic. Now, once the first sunset is dried, you can go ahead and add more paint on top. There was also a tiny bit of yellow in the sky, so here just used a little bit of yellow colored paint and dabbed it on top and at the same time I blend it in into the background by just distributing it evenly. We just need a light wash of yellow. Now the second sunset was darker and more vibrant, so here I'm just using an orange color and just starting applying it just above the area where I will be painting the water later. And I also blend the color into the sky using a little bit of water and also distribute the paint into this gradient effect. And now comes the trick I showed you in one of my other watercolor videos. You can take a coin and wrap it into some tissue paper so the coin has a flat surface covered with the paper. And now you can just dab it onto the paper while the paint is still wet and then lift it up. This way you create this bright sun. And now we can also add some orange watercolor to the lower part of the sunset and distribute it evenly. Don't forget that the sky reflects in the water so you want to apply some of the similar paints to the water as well. And you can also use a tissue paper to remove some of the paint, especially where the sun reflects on the water because even if something looks really bright, there still might be some a bit of color that is just super bright. That's why I usually paint over empty areas even if you can barely see the color. And again, since watercolor dries lighter, it's normal to paint in layers until you're happy with the intensity and the shade of the paint. So here I just went ahead and used this dark purple colored paint and applied it starting from the top with these left to the right movements while leaving out some of the background so it looks more like clouds. Now we can let it dry for a bit while we work on the first sunset again. Again, we can add more color to the paper. In my sunset, there was a tiny bit of pink, so I added it around the area above the water and just used some water to make the paint blend into each other since the first layer was not completely dry. And since the color of the sky reflects on the water, I also added a pink layer to the water part. With watercolors, you really need to be patient and let the paint dry or otherwise everything will just run into each other as you can see it here. You can still remove the paint with a tissue paper, so don't worry about that. If you don't want to waste time waiting, you can also use a hair dryer and carefully dry the paint this way. But make sure you do it really carefully or the air will push the water to areas you don't want it to be. And now we can go back and add more layers to the water. For the first sunset, you can see the pink was not really dark enough and you can barely see it. But that's okay, I kind of like it. 
Here I used some blue color paint and applied it starting from the area where I wanted the water to start and then just created these water reflections using a flat brush again. Here the water was dark in the background so I just used more paint on the horizon and then used more water to create the lighter water reflections in the front. As I said, watercolors are all about being patient and working in layers. Even if you find that something looks off or is too bright or too dark, you can always paint over it or just lift up some of the paint and just intensify the color and make it more saturated if you want. You can really play around with it. If you are afraid of wasting watercolor supplies because they can be pricey, you can just use cheaper paper and cheaper paint. Because it's more important you start playing around with it and just get in touch with it and get familiar. And once you get more confident and familiar with the medium, you can go and try out some other and more expensive paper or paint. As you can see with the second sunset, I used way too much water and this watercolor paper can't hold so much water that well. So it started to curl a little and that's why the paint was just running around, but that's okay. You can always use a tissue paper and remove some of the water. I feel like it's really difficult to explain how to paint a sunset or just sceneries in general. I feel like it's a lot easier for you guys to just see the process and how I apply the paint and what I do instead of me explaining weird stuff in words. <laughs> the question I got was about how to blend the colors when it comes to painting a sunset. And there are different methods and it depends on your personal style. I like to use the wet and wet technique that I show you here where I just apply the water first and then create the first layer and then add more paint later and make the colors blend into each other and from there I just build up the intensity and create more and more layers until I'm happy. But it always depends, you can play around and see how it turns out. You don't have to paint a whole big painting to find it out, you can just create a small square on the paper or a few squares on your paper and that's enough. And just play around. And once you're happy with the overall sunset, you can start adding the darker parts like stones, boats or something else. Here I added a few stones in the water and also a person that sits in the front of the sunset. And you can also use some of the darker paint and add it to the water as small dark waves. This makes the painting a lot more realistic. And when the paint has dried, you can still go over the painting and see if you want to add more paint somewhere or change something else. It's up to you. I feel like watercolors are so forgiving and they do their own magic even if you plan out something, they still kinda do what they want. You can just show them the way and control them in some way but not entirely. But that's the fun part about it. Remember this is not the only way how to paint, I just wanted to show you my way so you get a glimpse and some ideas so you can work on your own way and your own style. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more watercolor painting videos, check out my playlist that I have linked here for you guys. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up to support this channel, it will mean a lot to me. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more arts and crafts related videos in the future and to click on the bell button to get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you on Saturday. Bye!